Why does alcohol make you have to pee more? Assuming you are a legal adult, you may have noticed that drinking alcohol results in far more frequent stops to the bathroom than just drinking water normally would. Why is that? Proportionally less fluid input resulting in greater fluid output. Now, I'm not a doctor, although that might actually change in a few years, I'm still unsure, but the physiology at play here is interesting and I'll try to simplify it a bit. Renal function and you. To understand what's going on here, it's important to learn a little bit of basic anatomy and physiology. The renal system is responsible for cleaning out and expelling waste that is found in the blood. The complex interplay of chemical reactions happening within the body as different organs maintain and operate, along with normal cellular respiration, produces a constant stream of waste into the blood plasma. If not removed, these waste products would slowly build up and eventually kill us. The renal system is a vital player in controlling ingested substances. Things the body cannot use need to be removed, and the balance of other substances needs to be maintained. This is known as homeostasis, the body maintaining the correct equilibrium of what is needed to maintain normal life functions. The renal system is made up of three main parts, the kidneys, the ureters, and the urinary bladder. The kidneys filter the blood and sends waste products down the ureters into the urinary bladder, where it's then expelled through the urethra as urine. Inside the kidneys are microscopic structures known as nephrons. These are the functional part of the kidney. There is a lot of interesting complexity here, but I don't want this video to be too long. Suffice to say, the nephrons are what remove waste and other materials from the blood, one of which being water, and that's the relevant part of this little tangent. Fluid homeostasis and osmolality. Another important function of the renal system is to help regulate fluid homeostasis, which is the way the body regulates the osmolality of the body. It sounds complicated, but it just means the ratio of water to electrolytes in the blood plasma. In the brain, there is a small area about the size of an almond known as the hypothalamus. Its main function is to bridge the nervous system to the endocrine system, which is the hormone messaging system within the body. The hypothalamus releases neurohormones, which in turn stimulate or inhibit the production of other hormones, helping maintain homeostasis and achieving desired life functions. This is another very complex and interesting topic I could spend hours talking about, but for the sake of this video, I won't. Maybe later. Disruptions from alcohol. Anyway, more directly related to the topic at hand, the hypothalamus also controls thirst and fluid retention. A hormone known as vasopressin is synthesized by the hypothalamus and released through the posterior pituitary. Vasopressin, also known as antidiuretic hormone, or ADH, has many functions, but a major one is signaling to the kidneys to reabsorb water. When you drink alcohol, it begins to inhibit the release of ADH. The more you drink, the stronger this effect. With the normal ADH levels being disrupted, your kidneys read this as saying the body has too much fluid in your blood plasma and stops absorbing as much water. The extra water is channeled down the ureters into the urinary bladder. The more water you have in your body, the more your kidneys will remove. This is why beer in particular will make you pee a lot. Being only a small percent alcohol, it's mostly water. If you drink enough to get drunk, your hydration is also fairly high, so there is more water for your kidneys to pull out in response to the reduced ADH levels. What are the implications of this? This may have been a lot of complex terminology and crash course physiology, but if you're still watching this and enjoy alcohol, there is a lesson here. A hangover is caused by a number of things that go on in the body, one of which is dehydration caused by the diuretic effect of alcohol. Although drinking water as you drink alcohol won't prevent all the effects of a hangover, and it isn't a get out of headache free card, it certainly isn't a bad idea and can also reduce the severity of a hangover. Ultimately, the best way to prevent a hangover is to pace yourself and not overdo it. Being someone who used to drink, and when I was younger, I would get rather drunk at times, I can say I don't miss the hangovers. If you do choose to drink, remember to drink responsibly. Don't operate a vehicle, drink water, and think about the amazing molecular machinery going on inside your body. Or better yet, go put your shoes in the fridge, because that's funny and it'll confuse your friends for days after the party.